점수 잡는 hackers. Definition of pronouns. This question type will test your knowledge of pronoun antecedent agreement and the difference between pronouns and various contractions, which are sometimes confused with pronouns, okay? So pronouns and contractions are definitely different, so we'll look at the difference, okay? Now, first of all, pronoun antecedent agreement, that's the first part of the pronoun problem type, right? Antecedent literally means the thing that came before, right? So antecedent means whatever came before. Questions that ask about pronoun antecedent agreement will ask if an underlying pronoun should be corrected, obviously, right? So pronouns must agree with their antecedents in type and number, okay? So type and number. Antecedents will be nouns or noun phrases. So if they're long, they'll be noun phrases. If they're just one word, they'll be nouns, right? Okay, the antecedent of the pronoun may be in the same sentence or it may be in the previous sentence. If the antecedent of the pronoun is unclear, a repetition of the noun, which is the antecedent, may be required, okay? So this is in theory, but we'll look at some um, examples, okay? In the example sentence below, the antecedent is highlighted. Uh, but then here I did underline it so that it will be easier for you guys to tell. And the pronoun appears in bold. That's what your book says, but it'll appear in pink on the screen, okay? So, hoping to register for classes early, many of the new students, that is the, what? The antecedent, right? Okay, we're already waiting in line outside the office carrying their notebooks. And there is a pronoun, right? Antecedent is what? The thing that came before. And it is a noun, right? Or noun phrase. In this case, it was just a noun because it was just students. It was not a phrase, okay? So there is referring to what? Students. But because students came first, students is the antecedent and the pronoun referring to students would be there, right? Okay, contractions. Now, contractions are words shortened using apostrophes. Last time when we talked about punctuation and apostrophes to be specific, right? Um, I did explain contractions very shortly, very simply, but this time we're gonna go more in depth, okay? Certain contractions are easily confused with pronouns, possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. So don't be confused with the possessive forms. Pronoun questions commonly contain answer choices that test for knowledge of the differences between contractions and possessives, okay? So just need to know the difference between contractions and possessives in the sentence or um, the word that's being used, right? Okay, just make sure that you can differentiate between those two. Okay, so let's look at this chart together about contractions, okay? The contraction form there is actually from the full phrase they are, right? But they made it shorter by an apostrophe into one word, so it's combined now, so there, right? And then the possessive form of they would be there, right? So let's look at this uh, plural possessive form of they. The teams indicated that their work would be completed by the end of the week at the latest, right? So who is they referring to? The teams, right? Because it's plural and uh, it's their work, right? So the work belongs to the team, so it's possessive form. Okay, what about it's it apostrophe s is actually originally what? Equals it is, right? But then with an apostrophe, it can, made in, it can be made into one uh, word together, right? So um, it's, right? And then it's here doesn't have an apostrophe, but it is still one word. It's just I-T-S, right? And this is actually what? The possessive form. And it's actually singular, right? So singular possessive form of it would be its. So the company posted its quarterly earnings report late last month and saw a corresponding rise in share prices, right? Okay, so in this case, the company posted its, referring to the company, right? So its quarterly earnings report belongs to the company, right? And so therefore, company is singular, and so it's not there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what about this one? Theirs, there is, theirs, right? Okay, possessive plural pronoun. After we met, 
with the subcontractors, we arranged that we would coordinate our activities with theirs, right? So here, now we're talking about what? It's a little bit different. Theirs refers to who? Let me read it again for you. After we met with the subcontractors, we arranged that we would coordinate our activities, activities with theirs. We're talking about what? The subcontractors' activities, right? Okay, that's what theirs here is referring to. What about his? He is, right? So his is actually he is, right? Uh -huh. And then with an apostrophe, it's made into one word, contraction, right? And then possessive form would be his, right? So possessive adjective, let's look at this example sentence. The CEO of the company gave a keynote speech in which he laid out some of his visions and plans for the future. And who is his? Uh, it's talking about the visions and plans for the future that the CEO of the company has, correct?